We are in Windows Server 2016, and I'm going to show you how to add a zone in DNS Manager. So let's go to the Tools menu at the top of Server Manager, and we'll go to DNS. Now, if you don't see DNS here, it probably means it's not a DNS server, so you're going to need to add that role before you're able to do that. Now, this is a domain controller in a Windows Server 2016 server. You're running Active Directory. And you can tell that because, well, you can tell it for a lot of reasons, but one way is because you see this underscore MSDCS that is going to be the Active Directory zone that is automatically created. So we also see the widget.internal, which is a, an Active Directory zone as well. So let's take a look at how to create an additional Active Directory zone in our DNS manager. So let's say we also own another company. Let's right click on here and choose New Zone. And we'll click Next. And we have some options here. We have the primary zone, the secondary, the stub, and we also have the option to store the zone in Active Directory. So we're going to use the defaults here because we do want to create a primary zone that is stored in Active Directory, which will automatically replicate to all other DNS Active Directory servers in our domain. If we uncheck that, then this zone will only be in our one server, and that's not what we want. We want it to replicate. So let's go ahead and check that box and click Next. Now we have the option uh, where to replicate to all DNS servers, to all DNS servers running on domain controllers, et cetera, et cetera. So the default here is the one we want. So let's just go ahead and choose Next. And here is our zone name. So we're going to give the name of test.internal. So let's just say we bought the company called Test. And let's go ahead and click Next. And we have the option for how we want to do updates. So when one server gets updated, how do the other servers get updated? Well, we only want to allow the secure dynamic updates. We don't want non-secure updates. Or we could say we don't want to allow any updates. But let's go ahead and choose the secure ones. Click Next and click Finish. So here is our test.internal zone that we created. You can see that it automatically points to our name server, which is DC2 at the top. And the start of authority is also DC2, which basically means that that's the server that can make changes as, as the master role holder. So if we want to make additional records, all we have to do is right click anywhere inside and choose new host record. And we can just go ahead and create a record. We'll call this one PC1 and we'll give it an IP address anything that we want. And if we want to, we can also create the associated pointer record, which will create the reverse record. So this is a forward record. So if I ping PC1, it will give us an address that you see here. But if I ping the address minus A, which is an ARP request, then it automatically will do the reverse. We'll get the name PC1. So uh, that's why you have this checking the box for the PTR record. However, you have to have a reverse zone set up in order to do that. And I will show you how to do that in an upcoming video. So let's go ahead and uncheck that now. Otherwise, we'll get an error. And now let's go ahead and click Add the Host. And there we go. Click Done. And now we can see PC1. So if I were to ping pc1.test.internal, I would get this 15.222 address. Now, it won't be able to ping because it's a non-existent host, but you can at least see the name resolution. So let's go ahead and clear the screen out, and we'll do a ping pc1.test.internal. And you can see that the IP address comes up right there. So that's how you create an additional Active Directory forward lookup zone in Windows Server 2016.